sometimes it's kind of awkward the way these houses are set up but I just kind of wanted to show you what the house looks like from the outside this is the double pantry by live oak homes let's go in because it's going to be really awkward trying to show you what it looks like so let's go in and you know if there are pictures uh posted I will definitely show you but let's go see what this house looks like on the inside All right, so this is what greets you when you walk in. That's the kitchen. But before we explore the kitchen, let's take a look at the living room. This is the living room, you guys. This is the living room. You've got nice stonework over there on the real fireplace. There's a ceiling fan in here. And all of the space over here is your living room. You've got the two windows in over there, bringing in natural light, really nice space. I would probably put little bookshelves on either side, just so this isn't wasted space. Like the way it is, it's wasted space. But so that it doesn't feel like wasted space, I would put try to find some bookshelves or have some built for that space and make it kind of look rustic like the rest of the house is. Love the real fireplace, really lovely. Got a mantle up here to put things on, concrete mantle, really nice. So again, this is your living room. I want you to get a good view. So that's your living room space. And then from the living room, this is your kitchen. Really lovely, really lovely. So off to the right is your dining room. You've got space for a nice size dining room table. You've also got those doors that lead to the patio outside. Really nice. Oh, they got a stick in it so I can't open it, but it is a sliding glass door. So if you're entertaining, you have friends out by the grill in the backyard, hanging out on the patio. You can easily get to them through the sliding glass doors off the, off the dining room. So very nice. So that's your dining room. You got this long, large butcher block island in this kitchen, which is another great entertaining space. You could put, depending on how they're made, two bar stools in each section so four people can you imagine how many people are lined up around this island getting food i would lay food all the way out and let my guests just come and get their barbecue chicken ribs hot dogs sausage hamburgers potato salad macaroni and cheese baked beans green bean salad regular salad cold slaw come on around get you something to drink get you some sweet potato pie get you some strawberry shortcake peach cobbler just whatever you want okay it's funny the things that we imagine when we see stuff but i just see food lined up across that counter space very lovely so the exterior counters are darker than the island always a nice touch you may or may not like the brick wallpaper. You can totally change it. You got a window that opens over the sink. Black appliances in here. You got your built-in microwave. Lots and lots of cabinets and outlets in this large island. You've also got this space over here. I don't know, you can put appliances on it. You can put dishes on it. You've got storage under there. And then this is the reason it's called double pantry. Both of these doors lead to the pantry. It's actually one large pantry, you guys. It's actually one large pantry, but look how big it is. Like that is huge, right? And it's so large, it takes two doors. <laughs> that is huge. I love this pantry absolutely love that pantry really nice so this is your living room 
kitchen, dining room area. Really lovely. Really lovely. So down this way are your additional bedrooms. Here's bedroom number one. Okay, this is bedroom number one. Nice size bedroom. You've got a standard closet in there. So that's bedroom number one. Next to bedroom number one is bedroom number two. Another standard closet in here. Across from bedroom number two, give me one more peek. Across from bedroom number two is your second bathroom. So that's your guest bathroom and your bathroom for these two bedrooms. And then at the end of the hall is the laundry room. And you have, actually have to walk in and come around the corner, but you have a back door. So you have three doors in here. Your sliding glass doors, your back door, and then you have additional st storage shelving in here. Your washer and dryer go there with shelving above, and then you have shelving over here and space for storage. And this is the whole entire laundry room. Really lovely. So again, you have to come down and around the corner all right, so if you walk back through the house, your master is over here. So this is master. All of this is your master. Behind the door of the master, the door to enter the master, is the master closet. So all of that is master closet. It goes way down there. My husband and I could share this one. This is a lot of space. A lot of space, top and bottom. So your master closet, which is nice, is separate from the master bath, but it's next to the master bath. So this is your master bath. You've got double sinks and space for a makeup area, cabinets and drawers in this one. You got a mirror, and it looks like another space for another mirror in the middle. It's just not up yet. Across from the sinks, you've got this huge soaker tub that has the stonework like the rest, like the uh, fireplace. And I would totally do the, the underpinning in that stone. Really lovely. You've got this huge, huge shower with rain shower, shower head. Really lovely. And then your toilet is behind that wall for a little privacy, especially if you and your mate are in the bathroom. Really lovely. So again, you guys, this is the double pantry, okay? It's out here at Wayne Fire Homes in Byron, Georgia. It's made by Live Oak. Really lovely home. If you're interested in the price, specifications, or any information that I have, it's down in the description box. See you in the next video. I don't want to fall for you, oh no. But you make it so hard. Watching you dance all night, baby. It's making me fall hard. Trying to take a deep breath, but I just can't control my lungs. Ooh. But I just keep on talking in tongues It's a funny situation That I got myself into I can help my own frustration Cause I think, yeah, I think I think I like it